right there. Well done. So much better right there. Your foot didn't even hit the ground. That's baby. Good. Hey baby. Oh, Eddie. Woo. Give me some all league linebacker. Oh. Stabilize. Hey, jump and stabilize. Just come back down. Athlete. Athlete. Work around the ball. Look around the ball with your glove. Okay, I don't see any glove free pitch. Show me that. Here's what's missing. You guys keep hearing us say get around the pitch, right? Well, what does that mean? What does it mean get around the pitch? Okay. Does it get? Does it mean get around the pitch like that? Okay. Not necessarily for us. For us, when we say get around the pitch, we're talking about your free pitch glove action. Okay, so we know the pitch is going to be off the plate, right? The pitch is in air. I'm working around the pitch early with my glove, and now I'm catching the ball as my glove's coming back in. That's what we call getting around the pitch. It doesn't necessarily mean that we're catching the ball like that. And look what happens to my elbow. It locks out, right? What happens if the pitch is down? Now what happens in my glove side arm posture? It's not very good, is it? Right? We always preach, keep this club, try to keep this elbow down low, even with your wrist, even with your knuckles, keep them up. So when we work just around it that way, we get in a bad position right here. Okay, so when we say get around the pitch, we're talking about that pre-pitch. I want my glove to come early and then come back in so that I can maintain a good glove side arm. Alright, now I'm ready. Alright, watch my glove. Watch my glove. Down. Back in. See that? Look at that. Look at that left side arm, right? Watch my glove. Big pitch. Right? Am I am I working around the pitch there? No, right? This is that's what I call getting wristed. Okay? Getting wristed. Trying to work around the pitch. I'm trying to get around it. Okay? But if it's down, I get in a bad position. Now here's what it looks like when we don't get around the pitch early. And all we do is reach. When that pitch is coming and we reach to it, here's what it looks like. See that? Now I'm catching the pitch with my glove going away from the strike zone. As opposed to getting around the pitch early and catching the ball with my glove coming back into the strike zone. One more. Okay, see that? Let's really emphasize that on this first round. If you need to go ahead and get you need to start off with your knee down. Go ahead and start with your knee down. 
Really make the pitch be out here. Glove. Boom. I'm taking my glove three to four inches off the plate so that I can work back to it. All right, here we go. Let's get the balls. Let's have some good reps right here. Let's go about sets of about 12 to 13. Got it. A little sooner, a little sooner. There we go, Jacob, there we go. Now is going to face center field because the ball is hit the center field. My first baseman is coming over to be my cutoff relay man. So I'm yelling 444, 444. I take a step out, compass to where the ball is coming from. I create a lane for that runner to come through. We want the runner to come straight in. Two things happen runner straight in, runner will slow down because the runner thinks he's going to be what? Clean. That's right. Is he going to be safe? No. no way. I'm in my good athletic position right here. As the ball is thrown, okay, as it is thrown, I'm going to do a reverse pre pitch. So remember, we lean forward, we're going to lean back, we're going to come here. As we catch the ball, the ball is entering my glove, my left leg is going to step to the line. Boom. Mm. The line comes off this back corner of the plate. My, I land on the inside of my big toe because we never want our weight out this way. We want to be athletes. My shin guards are my protector. I secure the ball. I transfer the ball. Throw me a ball, please. I secure the ball. I transfer it into my bare hand as if I'm going to throw a punch to that runner. I contact created. I tag fair. I do not need to go down to the dirt. As he slides up my shin guard, the angle is going to make his leg come up. So I'm right there. My weight's still from the inside. Tag! I'm not waiting for that umpire's call because I know he's out. I'm going to transfer that whole grip to a two seam or to a four seam grip with two fingers. Reverse pivot. And we've been here before, right? Weight back, ready to drive, and make a play if need be. Be aggressive with your step. But you're not going to tag him there. Wait, so get four, four, it. Four, 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 four. Sometimes if it's that bad, Excellent. it's not a play. Excellent. Got to see it. You took your eyes out. Four, 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 four. About in about three minutes, Paul. Hit record on there and stop it. Okay. There we go. Four, 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 four. Yeah. Good job, stay in that low stance, stay low. Start your shuffle. Never cross over, never cross over.
position. Bottom of the ball. Oh, yeah! How'd that feel? See the bottom of the ball. Bottom of the ball. Line drive, bottom.